in 2022 no happy 2022 girl okay. <laughs> i you know you're always one day ahead of me so i'm prepared no no how long have you had those shoes valentine's day everyone it's valentine's day in new it's zealand happy valentine's know. day new oh zealand <laughs> i'm here for it i'm here okay. for you okay yeah so tomorrow's I tell this about it's Christy, be she is she is crazy about these kinds of things if you've been watching the video and decorating and clothes and clearly shoes and okay valentine day gnomes we got to keep the theme in your house right got it. i mean you just do you just do okay <laughs> i'm dying to know in new zealand what is the thing that everybody buys for like the special treat that you get. What is it for Valentine's Day? I would love to know this because I am an American living here. So I think on holidays, you tend to do just what you would normally do, but True. Like what culturally do other people do? And then like at work, I, I work mainly with, you know, the foreigners really. And so I don't really know. I don't know. Like, I think that they go to dinner. I, there's tons of like, book this because Valentine's Day is coming up because they have like a special menu or whatever. So I think yeah. people go out. I don't know, flowers. So comment below. If you know, like if you're an yes. XD and you know what they do for, for Valentine's Day, I would love to know because I think that, you know, I don't know. And every couple is kind of different. Some people are celebratory and some aren't. And Well, that's true. But I was just curious if it's like, like in New Zealand, can you get these? Oh no, we don't have like, I mean, you can get little things, but okay. So I'm going to get completely screamed at in the comments because I just said no. So here's the thing is, okay. yes, you can get them maybe at the $2 shop, maybe a little bit at Kmart, but what you guys don't understand is the extent of Valentine things that you can get in the U.S. at every I'm holiday. Sorry, we they go way overboard. Okay, right. Like we are not having heart shoes. I, they do not have hard shoes here. Okay. And how much? Are those? Probably not even a lot. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. This is what I'm saying. You're not buying shoes for $20. Okay. Now, excuse me. Excuse me. This is what I like to do on Valentine's Day. I get very excited about this. It comes in a pink box. What could it be? Donuts. Bam! Cupcakes. Salted caramel cupcake. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you torturing me right now? You are torturing me right now. It was just kind of like a, you know, like I'm sharing it with you overseas. No? Oh, okay. I'll just eat it. Who'd you oh get that God. from? Is that from work? Who'd you get that from? I bought it. And just one this cupcake is... in there? In that huge box, was... one cupcake. <laughs> For you? Nanya, 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 everyone. I had four there and let me tell you the names of these things this is called salted caramel yep i had one called lick the bowl because that's what we used to do we never baked it we just ate it before it never. was baked <laughs> never we would make these brownies yeah and be right. like how much of this are we gonna bake not much mm -mm. Zero, people. zero and never got salmonella it's amazing I mean, there's stuff in the middle of, oh, you guys, it, oh, oh, and I bought one that was Boston cream cupcake. That means there's custard in the middle. Okay, let's see the rest of them. Did you eat them all already? <laughs> it's been a rough weekend. <laughs> I love it. So yes, it is Valentine's Day here in New Zealand and will be tomorrow, but it's Super Bowl Sunday there, isn't it? Oh, oh, I mean, like we girl. Okay. I mm. walk into the grocery store today. I, I felt like, 
there should be music just for me entering because you walk in Valentine's balloons, flowers in every color, cookie cakes, brownies, little hedgehogs. What does that have to do with Valentine's Day? No idea, uh, but you can eat it. Um, then it was Super Bowl crap over to the right. And I was having like overload of all the things. I, the I mean, things. oh yeah, the grocery lady stopped me and she was like, can I help you? I said, no, no. I have to stare at everything. I haven't decided yet. Did you buy any Super Bowl food? What do you like at the Super Bowl? I like the bean cheese dip. Yes. That probably costs $3 to make and tears up your stomach for a week and a half. But it's so good going down. <laughs> what is that like Texas? What is that like Texas bean? Salsa? Yes. What, what's I mean? I don't know. Okay. There, there's also, um, it's called Texas caviar. Yes, caviar, really that's it. So good. So and that's good. not bad for you. That's not bad for you. But I love the chicken wings. Like, oh, have you yes. been to Wingstop? Like, now, do you guys do spicy wings or all different kinds of wings? Okay, so wings aren't that big here. Oh. But if it was me, I like, I like variety. I like spice. I really like, they don't like spice. Here as much New Zealanders are a little bit of bland eaters. Sorry, true. Um, <laughs> but yeah, but like, yeah, not the choices. It's not a huge thing. So you kind of have to make it yourself. And so, you know, and that's the benefit of moving to another country is you start to develop your culinary talents because you have to, because sometimes you just right? have a craving, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Right. I mean, I. I'm shocked by all the stuff we can buy already to already go. made. No, like people do not understand that here. That's so true. But I let I made chili last night, chili and cornbread, a very common. It was freezing, pouring rain for days, Ugh. like we had flooding. And I had a group of high school students over, and I'm like, I'm just making a big pot of chili. And they're like, well, What's that? <laughs> and so, they don't know what chili is? No. And cornbread is a whole new idea. And they loved it. I mean, it was like they were going back for seconds and thirds. And I thought I made a lot, but I guess not. <laughs> do you do the honey on it too or no? Yep, I put the honey out. I don't know that they really did. They just kind of, I said, I, you, know, you have to teach them also how to eat it. So it's like, put the chili in the bowl, right? It's a soup. If you don't know, it's like a, with meats and, meat and beans, really. It's kind of yeah. like the way that they make mints here. Um, oh. And then they put cheese, I had cheese and then noodles that you could add and then onion, right? Sour cream on top. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then oh, you that's sprinkle it. in oh, the cornbread. It's so good. And it was really good. Yeah. I just have yeah. to because it takes a while with different spices to make things taste right. And I'm telling you, this is good. The kid, we just admit though you are a good cook always have been it's oh, just okay. a thing well, you if you want to say that that's fine that's fine okay because this is what i do <laughs> you as buy. long as i have an, right. enough jobs i can okay i love that i mean, transition to your jobs because i haven't even talked to you since you've gotten new jobs so what are they tell me everything okay. you guys i am so excited i'm dying to know if you guys have birth centers in your side of the world, because to be honest, I didn't really know we had them here. So mm. I work at a birth center, which means it's staffed by midwives and you can have your baby there naturally. Mm -hmm. And we take care of you from the time you're pregnant till your six weeks postpartum. And we take care of the baby during that whole time. Okay. It is so fun to watch these cute people come in with their little pregnant bellies word. I did get to hear a baby be born the other day and I couldn't work. I'm the receptionist. So I'm out in the clinic like, hello, how can I schedule you? So glad you're here. But then when I hear the mom screaming, you know, right. she's in labor, I'm like, oh, oh my God. And my boss was like, did you get to the email yet? No. I said, I have stopped breathing until this baby is born. I am not doing anything. And it's like you can feel it. It's like, I feel like we're all oh. connected that way, right? It's like, you can feel it. Like you remember and it's like, oh my gosh. And you're so stressed for them. I know. I, oh, 
Oh, and then when they had the baby, I about burst into tears. And it's just so exciting. It, you know, there's not a whole lot of surprises in life that are exciting. This is exciting. It's exciting. Like the most amazing thing ever on the planet. So, That's so I'm cool. loving that. I'm loving That's that. So cool. The only negative yeah. is that um, I'm old. News to me. I had no idea. So when they come in looking 12 and pregnant, I'm like, oh, no, they're 25 married. They're fine. And I'm like, if, if they're 25 and I think they look 12 and I think I look 25. What do you really look like? Exactly. So that's the only trauma in that job. (laughs) And now they come to me. Her grandma advice. Girl, I feel you. I feel you because this is, okay, I'm going to probably shoot myself in the foot here, but you know, I look around at people yep. that are my age and I think, oh, oh, do I look like that? <laughs> and then I, of course I'm stupid. And I ask my ch- children and they go like, oh, yeah, you do. No. Stupid. <laughs> okay. Okay. Don't do that. Listen to me. I'm at the pharmacy the other day this older gentleman is in front of me. Okay. I mean, he's wearing the older gentleman clothes. He turns around, no offense. Everybody's got a different look. He is not attractive and old. Okay. Except I happen to hear his birthday because you have to do that here in the United States of America to get your drugs. Okay. So he's like, Oh, 1976. I was like, Oh, hold up. That is my year. And no, no. Oh, no, no. I was like, this is not okay. <laughs> oh, what is happening to our life? Okay, anyway. You know what's okay. Do this. This is, this is, this is not going to be fun for you, but we're going to do this. <laughs> Think about when we were really close friends, right? We were like yes. 20, 21. Maybe you were a little bit younger, right? We were super tight. We I'm only a year younger. Right now, the same age as your parents were then. So think about that. That's not okay. That's not okay. Think about what your parents look like, how they acted, what you thought of them. I'm going to need better drugs. (laughs) I know. This is not okay. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it real good. (laughs) Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Anyway, I also want to talk about. You you work in some salt room? Like, explain that to me. Awesomeness. They, so, I don't know that they have that here. I have not heard of that. Okay. So first of all, do we have birth centers? Let me know. In New Zealand, dying yeah, to know so that. Everybody, hold on, hold on. Let me just clarify because there's a lot more Americans on my channel now. So all babies, I believe, are born with a midwife here. That's how it oh, works. Oh, they are. Here. Yeah. So everybody is is more like a birth center. And then obviously if you need a surgeon, then that's different, but that is awesome. That's the standard, probably what you're experiencing. So cool. As per usual. Um, So then if I'm wrong, because I haven't had a baby here. So, right. Yes. We're all, we're all dried up. That, that factory is shut down. (laughs) Yes. Those tubes are tight. (laughs) Well, and being around all of these hormones, not okay. I'm starting to sweat through all my clothes. I'm having super vivid dreams. I'm like, listen here, the factory is closed. I am, no, do not get those hormones over here. Side note. Anyway, so then my part-time job is the salt room. This is awesome for respiratory health. So it's like, um, it's a natural expectorant for like mucus, for uh, easing your respiratory system. Stop, so stop, what you stop, do, stop, stop. What in the world does expectorant mean? Oh, it, it breaks up mucus. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So like, I'm totally plugged up because I'm allergic to my old house. To everything. Weird. Yeah, I remember yeah, that I'm about allergic it. to all the things. And <clears throat> so what you do is, this is Himalayan salt. Okay. You go in, we have a generator that we put the salt in. It breaks it down and 
it doesn't make that noise though. So. Sorry. And then it blows out the powder in the room while you are relaxing to very chi, chai, I don't forget what it's called, music. They called, I don't know. Anyway, calm music and there's light and it, but it's like calm light and you sit in the chair in the salt with the stuff blowing in and you just breathe it in. Super good for your skin. So in the 1800s, people used to go into salt mines when um, they were sick and it helped them. I'm going to sneeze. You guys are about to be blessed by how I sneeze. Oh. Excuse me. And oh, I, I, I forgot. <laughs> sorry. And I don't know how I only sneeze one time because I usually sneeze four. So you're welcome. Um, so anyway, it is awesome. Pregnant people can be in there. Babies over six weeks old. So if you're stuffed up, it's fantastic. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. People pay for this. How much is it? $35 for 45 minutes and people usually fall asleep. They're so calm in there. I had one mom bawling yesterday because it's the first time she's been able to hold her baby. Who's been so stuffed up oh. and not be distracted by her phone, by other things going on because you're just in this room. That's nice and calm with calm music. There's nothing on the walls other than a calming light. And it was like, yeah, we really do need to slow down. That is true. So it, it has been fantastic. Wow. That's wow. I'll have to think about that. Does anybody know if there's a salt? Okay. Why am I not? I'm like, do you, do I, am I'm going slow on my end? Am I not going slow on yeah, your you end? Are. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> have you noticed what I'm wearing? <gasps> Is that from your Wisconsin pack that I sent you? Yes, the door. And my water bottle is sitting on this. Can you see I it? love it. And can you please read it for us? Because we can't see it. It's blurry. Sure. I'll read it. Just so you know, these are what Christy sent to me. I did a push up today. Well, actually, I fell down, but I had to use my arms to get back up. So, you know, close enough. <laughs> Exactly right, my friend. High five. <laughs> big, news. big news, big news, big news, big news. I booked tickets to the U.S. last night. Oh my gosh. What? Girl, please, please. Okay. How long are you here? Four weeks. Four, four <gasps> weeks. They be hopefully longer, but there's all these restrictions to get in there. So I, I have a feeling that those are going to be lifted. So then maybe I'll book another week. Oh my gosh, Tara, that is so exciting. Your parents have to be freaking out. Freaking out. Like, like legitimately, this was my mother's response. <gasps> I can't wait to see you and touch you and dance with you and hug you. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's like a little over the top. Dance with me? Like, <laughs> you only get 24 hours then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. what are we getting? What are you dying to do? Okay. Now if you're okay, so to all of our community out there, we will be getting together. Let us know, comment below what you would like us to do. Cause you know, we're going to go out to dinner. We're going to go and do all the things and it's going to be all recorded. It's going to be oh. all recorded. Oh my gosh. It's going to oh be, Lord so great. we could go to jail. That could happen, but that's okay. It's going to be fine. It could happen. Well, Red Lobster for sure. So if you for don't, sure. we used to go to Red Lobster. Oh my goodness. Get our, what is it? Bahama mama drink. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> and it really like, we love seafood, but it really wasn't about the seafood. It was no. about the free cheddar biscuits that just keep coming. Warm. Oh my gosh. Are those free? I don't even remember this stuff. Maybe they yeah, weren't. I think, they, I think they were free. Cause we ate them all. And then we'd be all. like, could we? some more yeah could we have some more i mean we have no problems with so we are going to show you what we get at red lobster that's a fabulous okay. idea yes like we need to like record like the whole like us seeing each other. i mean i haven't seen you oh. in years i mean it's going to be a thing so don't look like crazy person oh well 
I'll try not to. I could burst into tears. I just don't know. We'll have to. Whatever. Listen. Whatever's real. Let's do it. It's going to be such good content. So what you guys, what would you like to see? What see us do or see and maybe probably just talking. Probably just right. coffee. We'll go over coffee. We'll do coffee. I would be so excited. Like, do they want to see, you know, the cheese curd factory? Do What do you want to see excuse about me. Wisconsin? Excuse me. Excuse me. Where is there a cheese curd factory? Okay. It's not really, it's called Simon's cheese, but there's oh. lots of cheese curds there. Yeah. So we're we going go. there. I have never been there. Serious. It's just, yes. oh, perfect. Okay. Perfect. What else do they want to see? Maybe Tell we need us. to go to this salt room and I need to breathe Whoa. in some Himalaya salt. <laughs> Done. That I can make happen. You better believe it. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh my gosh. Shopping. Okay. Shopping. We're going shopping. I'm taking you to Marshall's because Marshall's. you love a deal. Love a deal. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. I, I'm just trying to think. Okay. Is it June or July that you're coming? Uh, June 20 something through July 20 something. So a little above. So great. Okay. So it'll right. be warm. I'll get you the dates. I'll get you the dates. Okay. Fabulous. Cannot wait. So looking forward to it. We will do all the things, record all the things. It's if you have be great. to work because welcome to America, you never get time off. Um, just so you know, we're clear. I'm showing up to your work. Oh, perfect. I hinder you from your work, but I will be there with my camera and be like, this is Christy at work. <laughs> Someone's having a baby. <laughs> I know. Good vibes, good vibes, you good vibes. Appointment. No, done with that. That ship is sailed. <laughs> not here for no that. Thanks. Not here for that. No thanks. And like literally, this is what I see when I see a pregnant person. I'm like, oh gosh. I'm so <laughs> glad that's not me. <laughs> so glad that's not me. I know. I have to be very like. I'm so excited for them, and I try to encourage them. It is so difficult for me. Not to be like, oh, this is your first baby. Oh, tell them the reality that's about yeah. to come. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you would, yeah, you'd be like, can we go back? I don't want to do that. I know it's no, it's dirty. true. My sister in law, when she had her first, she literally called me from the hospital and says, why didn't you tell me? Like that. <laughs> It's like, how much do you tell people? It's kind of like getting married. You can't really explain it. You cannot really explain it until you've gone through oh. it. Because and everybody words to say, yes. you're not going to sleep and you're not going to do this, but they don't understand that. You, okay. you hear the word, but you don't understand the word. <laughs> Correct. When they're like, you're going to be tired. That's fine. I don't mind being tired. Oh, no, no. Okay. You're going to no. be like near death, exhausted don't know your name you are leaking from areas that you had no idea that was going to be a thing i mooed at myself eventually because i was like this we need some humor here because this is crazy i do not know what is happening and it was, i remember did you ever do this waking up and literally thinking i've dropped my baby the baby oh, yeah. is sleeping in the crib totally fine but like you have you have this heightened sense of like now that I Panic. have this baby, I can lose Panic. this baby. And so this is this is what you mothers need to know that like, yes, you don't sleep when they're when they're very young. And let me just say forever after. Yeah. Because this heightened sense of hearing everything doesn't end because they're 17. Was that no. are they home? Oh my gosh, they're late. I hope they're okay. You know, it doesn't end. You never sleep Here's again ever. No. Enjoy. Never. Here's what I I hear the sirens. Joshua, <laughs> are you okay? And it's like, I'm laying in bed. And I'm like, oh, well, praise the Lord for that. Cause there was sirens. No, I know. I'm it's the like, same way. Oh, are they, are they, where are they? Don't answer the phone if you're in the car. <laughs> it's so true. So true. You're forever scarred. So worth it. Tara and I, we Marco Polo and we will like cry over our children too. This is the pathetic part. Like they make you crazy. You're totally exhausted all the time. Then they leave you. Mm -hmm. 
what? Yes. And people are like, this is wonderful. F- what? No, Mm-mm. that's not wonderful. And I don't love that. Sorry. It's a roller gave- coaster of emotion, of pain, of stress. This is the truth. I cried for two days on my second child's last day of school. Yes. Two days. Yes. This is why this happens. Okay. I had to eat all the cupcakes because I invited my children over and they didn't want to come because they're busy. Yeah. Oh, for what? So I ate all their cupcakes too. <laughs> That's fine. And I yeah, wore kids will either drive you to food, drive you to wine, drive, <laughs> drive you to the yeah. crazy factory. Okay. It's true. You're so cute. You're so cute. But they don't, I wish they would drive me to the gym. Yeah. That is just one thing I don't get driven to. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for chatting with me today, Christy. It was so good to catch up with you and um, talk through all the new things in your life. And so excited to see you, you. in 2022. All right. See you. Ya. Bye.